Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts. This is Ajit Kumar Singh and this is the second episode of our weekly current affairs series in which we have covered the current affairs of the second week of month of August and these are few topics actually and these topics are PESA Act which is very important for your prelims and for mains also then open network for digital commerce this is something very important if this gets materialized the way it has been intended then it will change the face of commerce digital commerce in india then atags which is very important again because the first time in india this is actually a matter of pride that in first time in india we have fired our own indigenously made uh, tanks on the eve of independence day so that's why it is very important lumbi skin disease this has been quite in news that's why i have covered this 31st elephant reserve becomes quite important because anything is anything in news about the environment is important then namaste scheme and then ramsar sites again we have now 75 ramsar sites last time i have covered it was 64 and now we have 75 then chenar railway bridge because it has been inaugurated and that's why it is important it is important and it will be you will see in many examinations that there must be one question at least from all over the on this chain about this chenab river bridge so let's start and let's see one by one all of them so the first is uh, chandigarh has, sorry chhattisgarh has implemented this pesha pesa rules means panchayat extension to scheduled areas rules so first of all if before we go into this let let me tell you what is pesa act pesa act 1980 1996 was to go into that before i would like to give you a little background is that 73rd amendment act right this gave us uh, decentralization of power right decentralization of power or you can also say governance right so or self governance or local governance local governance or self governance so many names can be given to this many uh, local governance or self governance what happened that that time was that uh, 70 through 73rd amendment act the government gave people some rights or some powers to to govern themselves right so this is so how this during this i mean after this 73rd amendment act there was a scheme which was the provisions under this was panchayati ru, panchayati raj right panchayati raj right this was given a constitutional status because before that there was no constitutional status for this and different states had different uh, provisions that was not yeah, i mean un there was no uniformity around the country so that's why the government decided to bring this amendment and this this panchayati and this panchayati raj institution became a constitutional institution so that's why it is important but the thing is that the whole country is not uniform or uh, homogeneous we have people we have some states like very developed some states are quite back uh, backward so some have tribal population right so and the tribal population the unique thing about them is that they are quite untouched by the modernity that we have now here like we are using this the, that thing is that the different uh, the difference i would like to highlight is that i am recording this video on ipad but the thing is that the people living in tribal area they might not even know what is what an ipad is so this is the difference the kind of language we use the kind of dressing the kind of food so everything is different for them so they are quite untouched so government decided to do not disturb them right so that's why there was some modification to in the in the panchayati raj institution rules and regulations so that it can be accommodated it can accommodate those people living in tribal areas so that's why the pace pesa rule act PESA Act was implemented, so enacted, and it was it happened in 1996. This came in 1992, so four years four years from this 1992 to 1996, this PESA rule came, PESA Act came. So the PESA is actually uh, 
implement is can it can be implemented in fifth schedule areas fifth schedule areas a uh, fifth schedule area has 10 states right in, in these 10 states fifth schedule areas are there some districts are there right so this is how it is but there is one more thing that this PESA act is not uh, uh, implementable in sixth schedule areas now sixth schedule area is there are four states like Assam Meghalaya Tripura forgive my handwriting and Mizoram these four states are sixth schedule area they are called tribal areas this ten this uh, fifth schedule areas are called schedule areas and they are called tribal areas so there now their uh, rules their way of living is quite uh, different from those in the uh, sixth schedule area that's why there is a difference of fifth there are two uh, schedules like fifth schedules and sixth schedules so the one so the crux is that this act is implementable or can be implemented only in sixth schedule so in fifth schedule areas which are 10 states the name of the states are here you will see all of them so this is how low so now we'll start so the thing is that so part 9 and this panchayat institution has been mentioned in part 9 so to implement the provisions of part 9 we enacted PESA in 1996 these 10 states in which the PESA can be uh, implemented are Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Rajasthan, and Telangana have notified fifth schedule areas. These 10 states have fifth schedule areas, means they have schedule areas, and their people, those people require different set of rules and laws to, uh, to govern themselves. So that's why this uh, PESA Act is there. So the thing is that Chhattisgarh, which has a sizable amount of uh, uh, schedule area and people living there, so they have decided to notify PESA rules so that it can this can be implemented for them. So this that's why this is the news. So this the news is that uh, Chhattisgarh has done this, and uh, the next state is uh, Gujarat, which is talking, which is in quite in news because different political parties are going there like Aam Admi party has been there and they have decided they have actually uh, uh, they have uh, given an offer for people that if we come to power will implement this so that's a different thing how much Aam Admi party delivers uh, of their uh, promises because we have seen in Punjab and in Delhi also that how much is their what is their outcome and delivery status so that's a different thing but uh, for this we have seen that PESA has been Chhattisgarh has been notified this PESA rules and something about PESA we have just mentioned one more important thing is that it ensures that 50% of the members of the Gram Sabha one thing is Gram Sabha which is very important because Gram Sabha there has been a question there has been many questions in examination in different years and different examinations that what is Gram Sabha it actually means that anyone who has a name in the electoral role is a member of Gram Sabha right so it will be from tribal communities means the this rules say these rules say that 50 percent of the members of grams of will be from tribal communities of which 25 percent would be from female members so this these are one of the some of the rules and there are many provisions many other provisions also so these were something about pesa and chhattisgarh then moving to the next topic which is open network of digital commerce this is important because see why uh, what is uh, signif why this uh, topic is significant let me tell you that we have done we must have had, had an experience of uh, online shopping through uh, from amazon or flipkart what amazon does does is that it it gives you an it gives you a platform where you can uh, scroll through different items you see their prices their uh, reviews and you then purchase the item what amazon does is that you connect it connects you to the seller right so the seller is here and you are supposed a consumer so amazon is the link between you and the seller and amazon charges some uh, amount of uh, sh share from this business so this is how amazon works and amazon also has its own product like alexa and their amazon original 
kind of things and amazon prime is also there so there's a difference i mean the diversity of uh, business there but the thing the crux is that amazon is a link between consumer and uh, seller but ondc means open network open the name suggests that will be open means anyone can go and participate there and there will, be, there will not be a, a controlling a factor like amazon does so microsoft has announced onboarding efforts with ondc means a microsoft soft is going to prepare to curate that uh, software that software will be open platform right is it's a globally first of its kind initiative launched by department of promotion of industry and trade that is very important because which department is introducing this scheme is important then it is for decentralization and democratization digital commerce because here you can see that amazon has a big stake like amazon rules flipkart has a very small and sizable amount of uh, market share but amazon has a huge market share so that's why it will decentralize and democratize means anyone can sell anyone can purchase from there so that's why it is important it is a platform that will allow buyers and sellers to connect and transact with each other online so this is how this is what exactly amazon does but it will become an open platform it will make process a software open source means anyone can have this software no there is no restrictions technology and code development so anyone can use that software so that's why it is important quality council of india will provide the integration of e-commerce platform for it so this quality council of india and department of promotion and of industry and trade and microsoft these things are important so the next topic is advanced towed artillery gun system which is ATAGS this is how it looks like this is how this majestic look you can see this is quite big and it, its range is 48 kilometers which is quite quite large right then the thing is that till now means till 2021 15th August of 2021 जब भी हमें तोपों की सलामी देनी होती थी 21 तोपों की सलामी तो हम इस टैंक का यूज करते थे दिस इज अ ब्रिटेन मेड टैंक व्हिच वी यूज्ड टू यूज एंड दिस इज क्वाइट ओल्ड लाइक इट इट इज फ्रॉम अ वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 एरा सो बट दिस ईयर वी हैव मेड आवर ओन इंडिजिनस टैंक व्हिच इज एटीएजीएस एंड वी हैव गिवन द 21 तोपों की सलामी फ्रॉम दिस टैंक ओनली so that's why it is very important this is not actually tank sorry this artillery gun howitzer gun the word howitzer gun the word howitzer is used because for long range it uh, howitzer is the term howitzer is used its range is 48 kilometers it has been developed by drdo so that's why it is very important so next topic is lumpy skin disease lst lst is quite see ye yahan se ek film ka naam bhi tha lst so so why this uh, a disease is important see it's look it looks like this ki it koi uh, animal hai jo jaise ye bahut zyada uh, prevalent hai over cows and buffaloes to unke body pe ye ka aise aise kya ye marks ho jate hain so it becomes lumps nodes so that's why it, its name is lumpy skin disease so that's why it is important in ke liye inhone ek uh, vaccine bhi bana liya bana liya jisko lumpy pro vac indi as a ind is ka naam hai is vaccine ka right and to protect livestock from lumpy skin so that's why it is important vaccine has been developed by two institutes which is important ki icar ne banaya hai kiske sath milke indian veterinary research institute ke sath milke ye uh, vaccine taiyar ki gayi hai lsd is caused by virus called capri pox virus which is quite close to goat pox or sheep pox so is ke liye ye uh, here pe, this becomes important ki kaun sa virus hai ye capri pox virus it infects cattle and water buffalo mainly through vectors such as blood feeding insects bahut sare insects hai jo animals ka blood choose hain khoon choose hain wahi uh, uh, jo uh, insects hai wo isko spread karta hai they are the vectors so signs of infection include appearance of circular form nodes so wahi hai ki unki skin pe ek uh, form circular nodes ban jate hain gaathe jinko hindi mein kehte hain kehte hain that's why it is called lumpy skin disease 
so that's why this topic is here the next topic is center notifies india's 31st elephant reserve which is very important ye tamil nadu mein hai agastimalai reserve elephant reserve ke andar ye banaya gaya hai this the new area the new reserve has been notified as agastimalai elephant reserve so obviously ye agastimalai ke andar hoga which is in tamil nadu right about elephants so the first thing is it is in tamil nadu and the second thing is that about elephants ke bare mein agar hum kuch dekhe to ye southern western ghats mein agar ye india aisa hai to idhar western ghats hai to idhar southern western ghats yani ki kerala aur tamil nadu aur karnataka inke area mein ye kafi paaye jate hain north east india mein bhi ye paaye jate hain jaise idhar ye north east india ka part hai to yahan bhi hai eastern india yani ki idhar is taraf odisha नॉर्दर्न इंडिया तो नॉर्थ इंडिया नॉर्दर्न इंडिया के ऊपर यहाँ पे जंगल के पास होंगे इन सब पार्ट्स ऑफ द सदर्न पेंसुलर इंडिया सो ऑब्वियसली इसका आयुसिन स्टेटस इंडेंजर्ड है और uh, इंडिया के पास 2017 के सेंसस के हिसाब से कुछ 30,000 के पास हाथी है विच इज़ क्वाइट यूज 30,000 हाथी तो बहुत बड़ी बात है ओके विद इन स्टेट्स अमंग स्टेट्स वी कैन से Karnataka has the highest number of elephants which is 6000 elephants followed by Assam and then Kerala so ek bar ye upsc ke andar question bhi tha ki which state has the highest number of elephants actually in the uh, options ke andar tha ki Kerala has the highest number of ele- elephants which was wrong because Karnataka has the highest number of elephants followed by Assam and Kerala has the third highest number of elephants that's why this data is important aapko ye yaad rakhna hai then initiatives taken a project elephant was launched launched in 1992 to increase and preserve the uh, population of elephants uske baad uh, mike jo ki international initiative hai jo ki illegal killing of elephants around the globe ye uh, conservation preservation ki baat karta hai mike which is active in africa and asia then world elephant day is observed on august of 12 which is these things are important so let's recap just that august 12 is the world elephant day mike is an international organization which talks of or is is that works for the conservation and preservation of elephants in asia and africa then project elephant which was implemented in 1992 and then uh, karnataka has the highest number of elephants followed by assam and then kerala has the third highest number of elephants we have around 30000 elephants and then i've seen a status of elephants is endangered and then we have uh, uh sorry and then this 31st uh, uh elephant reserve is in tamil nadu so these are the important uh, facts then moving to the next is namaste this is again a very important thing for the people who work in the uh, uh, work for uh, sanitation they they are responsible for sanitation and sanitizing our cities our place and our surroundings for them actually uh, what happens is that government is quite concerned and it wants those that people who are uh, uh, employed and in uh, they are who they uh, people who take care of our sanitation work they do not have to do it manually they will do it mechanically means machine will use this thing and they will operate those machines that's why this namaste scheme is there national action plan for the mechanized sanitation ecosystem right ministry of social justice and empowerment will do this thing they will implement this scheme and for this hazardous cleaning means we always see in news ki kuch uh, koi uh, insaan wo टैंक के अंदर गए हैं सफाई के लिए और दे डाइट राइट सो फॉर दिस थिंग दिस हैज बिकम अ कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न एंड फॉर दैट नमस्ते स्कीम इज देयर एंड वील यूज मशीन फॉर क्लीनिंग आवर सैनिटेशन फॉर क्लीनिंग फॉर आवर सैनिटेशन वर्क सो नेक्स्ट इज राम साइड्स हैव जस्ट मैं दैट ये तो हर तीसरे दिन जोड़ते जा रहे हैं बिल्कुल सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स के मैटर पे सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स के ईव पे इन्होंने सेवेंटी फाइव कर दिया है टोटल मिला के so that's why it is important the important thing is that tamil nadu has the highest number of ramsar sites which is 14 followed by up which is 10 ramsar sites pehle iske pehle up tha lekin abhi uh, recently tamil nadu se ta, char naye ban gaye hain so that's why it has become 14 which is the highest and up has become the second then chenab river uh, railway bridge this is i think the last of this topic 
so let's see what this uh, thing is actually this bridge is on uh, say there are certain this is how it looks like ye chenab hamare ye river niche ye chenab nadi hai aur ye river aise ye do actually ye baramula highway ko connect karta hai uh, that's why railway line ko connect karta hai it's part of the baramula railway line udhampur shrinagar baramula railway link project ka ye part hai aur uh, let's see few important things about this सो so, आज़ादी का अमृत महोत्सव के उपलक्ष्य में क्या इसको तो इसको इनाग्रेट किया गया है विच इज़ वर्ल्ड्स हाईएस्ट ब्रिज रेलवे ब्रिज राइट सो द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज़ रायसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर के अंदर ये बना हुआ है जो ब्रिज है वो रायसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट है जम्मू कश्मीर कश्मीर के अंदर उसके अंदर है देन ये बक्कल एंड कौरी इन जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट के अंदर ये दो जगह जिनको कनेक्ट करता है बक्कल एंड कौरी विच इज़ ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन then this is built on chenab river which is uh, at the height of 359 meters ye cheeze main jo highlight kar raha hu exam ke liye bahut important hai kyunki ye railway bridge isse related question aana is quite not quite it's actually very very possible that you will see some at least one question from this topic in your examination so this is 359 meters the height is then it connects two places bakkal and kauri in raisi district and this whole bridge is is constituted it's actually constructed in raisi district of jammu and kashmir so this is how it is then it uh, it is a part of 272 km long railway line which is from udhampur to baramula which joins jammu with kashmir valley so this railway becomes this railway bridge becomes very important because this connects jammu and kashmir valley and it is a part of udhampur shrinagar baramula rail link project so that uh, this is how this uh, we have uh, covered this topic so anything related to this topic and anything related to any other topic in this video if you want any clarification any any query you just mention in the comment section and we'll answer there they answer that question there there only and that's how we'll uh, progress this, this is how we progress in uh, towards our goals so uh, Thanks for watching. You guys are very wonderful. Thanks a lot.